Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary with EXO and this is actually going to be game 6 guys not game 4 like announced in the previous video it's just messed with my head because I didn't have the the previous uh, the replays from the previous 4 games so that was actually game 5 from the EG versus uh, Energy Clan War from the SC League so this is going to be game 6 the score is 3-2 right now for Team Evil Geniuses so we are going to have EG Idra spawning as the Blue Zerg over here at the 2 o'clock position and uh, DD uh, Sir Jack's energy DD is going to spawn as the red turn over here at the seven o'clock position. Now this is going to be Zelnaga Caverns, a map that is really not so loved by Zerg players, I'd say, because of the way the natural setup is just too exposed. Fast expanding over here is usually a nightmare. It's very dangerous to do against Protoss and uh, uh, Terran and Zerg really, because CVZ especially is uh, a matchup where you see uh, one base play being favored over anything else especially on maps like these so let's see if Idra is going to go expand um is going to go fast expand 14 or 15 hatch he did 15 hatch expand on Shakur's plateau but obviously that's a different story now uh the Terran player uh, by the way if you haven't seen the previous game do watch it's a pretty good game on Shakur's plateau between these two guys that was game five from the clan war and um yeah Surjax really uh I think he could have won that game easily if um if he had pushed with those marines at the start instead of going back and forth so much he delayed too much i think he was you could really see that he was so ind indecisive and it, whoa 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 really oh idra going for the i'm not sure if um idra is uh, making the, the right call over here I, I i think he's relying on the fact that uh, dd over here is not really the kind of player he usually faces in korea but i doubt he goes hatch first on zelnaga caverns in korea um uh, i'm really I'm really uh, sure he does not. Most good players, most good Zerg will not fast expand on Zelnaga. They they would really get the uh, spawning pool first and opt to get the hatchery a little bit l early uh, later. But um, looks like Idra will uh, will go for this now. DD does scout this out, and uh, we will see. He doesn't. He's not going for a two racks opening anymore. So probably not going to be so offensive at the start he is sending one marine though this SCV is still poking around over here Idra sees the, Idra sees this and uh, is sending this drone to follow he doesn't want any uh, bunker going down without him seeing it so yep Idra is gonna follow this uh, this little SCV around and that SCV will probably want to lay down a bunker as this marine comes closer but uh, well I think Idra will be ready as the hatchery is almost uh, is nearing completion right now there we go Queen on the way as well this marine is it? I don't think it's going to take down that overlord. He won't have vision down here, or maybe, but I don't think so. There we go. A lot of drones being pulled off the line for Idra. Uh, part of the reason you do this is not really to just uh, even out the drones on the bases. It's the fact that these drones are a lot closer in case some sort of bunker uh, contain is attempted over here. So instead of having them travel all the way from here to here, they're already down at the natural having a much shorter travel distance, making it easier for you to deal with any sort of cheese like that. And these Zerglings actually taking down that one SCV, stealing the gas over here. So he makes sure that uh, that uh, DD will not really go for anything like Banshee play. He saw the factory, so after he saw that factory, I think he just wanted to make sure there's not going to be any Banshee play coming over here. And an expansion, a pretty fast expansion actually from DD. And there are some Zerglings coming in already, but one Hellion up and two Marines probably going to be more than enough to deal with these links. There we go. Idra is backing off right now. A Roach Warren on the way for Idra. This is really unlike Idra. He doesn't really get Roaches so much in CVT, but we'll see what he's thinking right now. He's usually the Mutalisk, uh, Mutaling, Baneling kind of player, but um, <clears throat> well, we'll see what he's thinking right now. He's getting five Roaches. I think he's going to try breaking, uh, breaking DD right here because he saw this fast expansion going. He saw the opportunity. He had okay saturation at both bases. And um, because of that, I think he's just going to try busting this with some roaches. Now, DD sees those three roaches and is probably going to think, um, well, these roaches are great f for dealing with Hellions and more Hellions on the way. But obviously, well, Hellions really not the unit you want to have against roaches. There we go. More roaches popping out for Idra. Getting a second queen at the natural as well. Some drone, one drone going down only. And... Um, those Hellions, uh, Hellions are pretty damaged right now. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything really. But um, two bunkers being laid down here by uh, DD. And I think I think these bunkers should have been maybe a little bit more up in front, like over here. But <clears throat> we'll see. The Roaches, uh, the Roaches are coming now. And the bunkers are ready though. One Marine going down. There we go. Putting the 
putting the Admirator and Marine back inside the bunker. There we go, another bunker is finished right now. Now, um, I'm sure that Idra will be able to contain the Terran as far as uh, mining goes over here, because I don't think DD will be able to break this unless he gets a significant, uh, a significant army lead, because hmm, su surprising that Idra is moving back. The SVs are probably going to transit down here again. And very late speed again from Idra, as we can see, 7 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. And Idra is only getting speed right now. And there we go, Idra is getting a bailing nest right now as well. Like I said, he probably won't be going for roaches too much. I think I think those roaches were only there to try and break down DD at the start, I'm not sure. And um, to defend against those Hellions, obviously, roaches are the unit you want to have uh, to defend against those uh, annoying, annoying Hellions. And here we go, more Hellions. Actually, is, are these those two Hellions that got repaired? I'm not exactly sure. But those Roaches are gonna be more than enough to deal with the Hellions and <laughs> attacking the rocks over there. Uh, not really what you want to do. I think uh, I think DD is a little bit nervous, given the fact he's playing Idra right now. Idra did take the second and third gas, so let's see if he's going to transition into Mutalisk. Usually, delay the Mutalisk are really annoying to deal with. I mean, as a, as a Terran player, if you see Roaches and Banelings, um, I'm probably not going to think to yourself that a Mira transition is incoming, but I think that Idra might actually go for that. He's going for ro uh, road speed right now and um, bailing speed, so let's see. Is he going to go for some sort of all-in thing? Idra is not the kind of player who, who wants to to go for some sort of uh, very aggressive attack like this, but um, the Terran player is pushing across right now with a lot of Marauders and Hellions, so those Hellions really good against Zer Zerglings and um, Marauders really great against Roaches. He doesn't have Stimpak though, but he does have Concussive Shells. Stimpak is almost done though, so this looks like a pretty solid timing push over here from DD. Let's see how this plays out. He's gonna have to be very careful though with the stem and how he uses it. Some Bailings are coming out. Remember that uh, Hellions are light armored units, so let's see how this will play out. And those Lings, if those Lings get us around on the Marauders, is going to be very bad. And it looks like the... Ooh. That was pretty good over there, those Marauders being very weak, but he needs a lot of Lings right now. There we go, more Lings joining up the fight, but that's a lot of Hellions, and whoa, actually, Idra is in a lot of trouble right now. I don't know how this is how this is going to play out, let's see. Looks like more reinforcements join up over here right now, more Roaches hatching, and uh, the Marauder count has been dwindled down, so these Hellions are going to go down very fast as the roaches are going to be able to deal with them just fine more marauders coming though so it looks like uh, dd is not really done with this attack yet he's sending uh, constant reinforcements from all over the place no blue flame though uh and that looks like yep it's the end for uh for now that push has been stopped and Indra looking pretty good right now he doesn't have let's take a look at the income tab actually uh pretty uh, even over there on harvesters Let's see if Idra is going to go for this fast for this fast gold expansion over here. This is uh, quite curious. And um, more Marauders over here from DD. Lots of Hellions. He didn't repair those Hellions, though. He should have taken the time to repair. And this Overlord is still here. Might even see a Nidus Worm from Idra uh, in, in the near future, since that Overlord really hasn't been scouted. And there is nothing on this side of the base, except this factory that is building. But if you take a look at the vision over here, and got to go out of camera... There we go, this uh, corner is not scouted, so, oh, I gotta hit the back key over there to see what happened at the mineral line, and those Hellions were moving across the side, I did see them, but, <clears throat> yeah, my camera was not centered at this position, so let's see how much damage these Hellions are gonna do, that's a lot of Hellions, even though they don't have blue flame, oh, losing quite a few drones over there, I think that was 5 drones in total, and, uh, well, not the biggest of losses, but it also stops you from mining and makes you invest some larva and drones, so that's something you have to keep in mind as a Zerg player. You don't really want to, uh, to be throwing those drones away. And those, uh, those Hellions are still stationed over here. That's pretty curious. Uh, oh, this is a lot of stuff from Idra. Idra is going to be moving across with a lot of Roaches and Banelings. This could be quite bad for our Terran player over here. Oh, indeed, because he has these bailings as well that can deal quite well with the Hellions, if not micro correctly. So, uh, there we go, the Hellions are coming back, but is Idra going to commit to any sort of attack? Doesn't really look like it. He has a lot of bailings at this position. He does have bailing speed. That's a lot of Hellions, and they're all light armored units. There we go. Losing some of those bailings, though. Let's see, though, the bailings. Do they explode? No, they don't really do that much damage, but that's a lot of roaches. And with some speedling support in front, those roaches are going to be doing a lot of damage. There we go. The marauders are stimming and running away. The bunkers, uh, actually, just one bunker. It seems like one has been salvaged. 
So Idra's not really gonna try anything, he's just gonna macro up. He loves to macro, it's really the style of play he wants to go for, so no problem for Idra right now. He has kept that, uh, he has kept the Terran at bay. No sunken crawlers over here whatsoever, not even one or two to deal with any sort of uh, Hellions like this, and Hellions are moving inside the base. This is going to be, oh, gotta be very careful. I'm not sure if he should have uh, gone for those links and not go for the drones. I'm, I'm well, I don't really agree with what DD is doing right now. I think those, uh, the obvious choice over here would have been the drones, but he actually did clean up all those uh, Zerglings, and oh, 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 the drones are stacking up. Oh, and like two more shots, and <laughs> that would mean like 10 to 15 drone deaths over there. It looks like Idra is going for a Spire. Was the Spire scouted? No, it is on this position, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look if Surjax. No, he does not. Uh, so DD does not know about... Um, about this spire, also Idra has taken the gold right now. So Idra looking pretty damn good right now. He does have a pre-igniter. I mean, uh, DD has pre-igniter on the way though. He's been using a lot of Hellions so far, but no pre-igniter. And now when he's running out of Hellions, he is getting that pre-igniter. But looks like he's gonna keep on making some Hellions. He's also getting some Thors and Siege Mode on the way. So Triple Factory over here is probably gonna, we're probably gonna see some mech in this game because uh, you don't really see three factories for no reason. I don't think they're all going to be making Hellions in this game. And <clears throat> Idra is keeping pretty good map control right now. He is spreading his creep nicely on all sides, on the right side over here and uh, on the middle towards the left and the right of this. Uh, basically, these are the famous Zilnaga Caverns where the map draws its name from. So five mutas on the way for Idra. Weapons upgrade level 1 for Mutas on the way as well. These um, Mutas are a little bit delayed, but a little bit of, um, of um, non-saturation going on over here. He, this is um, not uh, saturated. He needs to get some additional drones to mine these minerals, like 5 or 6 drones. But he does go for the gold, obviously, at, at the start because you get, more, uh, you get more out of this. But, oh, Blue Flame has finished and, well... Didn't take down as many drones as, as he as he as he would have liked, but uh, still taking down some drones. Not the biggest deal in the world, though. Idra getting a lot of mutas right now. He has roaches, mutas, and uh, as you can see, six mutas on the way. And uh, if we take a look at the army count, Idra is actually um, ahead of um, of DD over here. So he's probably going to try some aggression over in, at the natural with these mutas. There's one Thor only, no turrets really, just one turret over here, and that's it. One Thor is out though and one additional Thor on the way. So let's see if the Terran is going to be getting a lot of uh, mech. If he does get that mech, it's really hard. It's really annoying to deal with as Zerg. You have to get Broodlords one way or the other. It's really hard to deal with that. And then generally the Vikings are going to come out, kill your Broodlords, then you transition into stuff like Ultras and keep on pushing with stuff like uh, Ultras and Roaches and Lynx. So let's see how this game is going to evolve. But right now, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a macro game. These aliens trying to go for some attacks, but uh, Lynx getting this round off. There we go. The uh, A little bit of uh, attacking going on here. Not really... Uh, none of the players really committing to anything. And Planetary Fortress on the way over here for uh, DD at the gold. This is going to be really good for him. Let's see, these mutas are moving in. They are probably going to take down that turret. No, the turret does not go down. But additional mutas coming to reinforce. The thing is, these Thors are out. Actually, just one Thor for now. And the second... There we go. The second is up here. Uh, I mean, down here in the back. He needs to move that Thor forward to deal with these mutas that are flying around. And the uh, mutas are stacking up. But that's one Thor at the corner, and if these Mutas go in their stack, they're all going to take a lot of damage. Idra needs to be very careful and magic box these Mutas, because uh, those Thors do insane damage to light armored units, especially Mutas with that splash. It's just so uh, so brutal. Sometimes you can lose um, 20 Mutas to two volleys of attack. But here we go. Idra is moving in with some of his units and magic boxing these Mutas. Look at this. That was so nice taking down that Thor. All of his ground force is getting taken out, but the thing is, second Thor is going down as well. Some missile turrets remain, but that is all the anti-air that the Terran player has. No Marines whatsoever. I'm not sure I agree with getting this many Marauders. I think he's overcommitting to this. He should switch to Marines right now. If Marines would be in the picture, these Mutas would have no way of taking down those Thors. Unless Bailings would really, really, really get in there and do their job against the Marines. So, uh, still getting some Marauders. And how many barracks does he have? He only has two barracks. And I'm pretty damn sure he should be switching to Marines. Actually, three barracks. So, if he does not switch to Marines, Idra is going to take advantage of this to its fullest. He's not going to be making any Roaches anymore. As we can see, only Lynx and Mutilus getting produced right now. And here we go. The turn player is going to try pushing. Is he going to try anything? Yep, there we go. Scanning, taking care of some of the creep at this side. The Mutas are moving in. There's basically no ant here except these stores 
but still magic boxing these mutas. There we go, one Thor going down, the second is almost down as well. Some Marines, some SCVs coming to repair, but the Thor is going to, yep, there we go, the Thor is going down. Now all these tanks have no defense whatsoever, there's no Marines, no Thors left. And uh, wow, Idra is actually, uh, well, this base is probably going to get taken out, but at what cost? Because DD is going to lose all these forces. There's so many mutas. He's actually focus firing on the siege tanks. Great choice over here from Idra taking down those tanks. And uh, the Marauders and the Hellions are going down slowly but surely. So that's a lot of mutas from, uh, from, uh, from Idra. Let's take a look at this one. 21 mutalisk right now. And um, yep. Weapons level 2 for vehicles uh, on the way for Terran. It's, it's almost done actually and 3 Thors in production as well But Idra is doing such a good job at magic boxing those Mutalisk It's not even um, a problem for him unless Marines are going to be added into the mix right now just tanks and Thors So let's see that's a lot of turrets being placed all over the place though gotta be care Oh gotta be very careful with those mutas Ouch and uh, well those Thors could maybe have gotten a few more shots off there but, um, you know, it looks like, well, I don't really see Idra having any issues unless the Terran goes for Marines. He needs to understand that the synergy between the Thors and the Marines um, uh, versus the uh, air capabilities of the Mutal is, uh, is just insane. I mean, you can't, you need something else to deal with, uh, with Thors and Marines, not just Mutas. You need Broodlords, you need something like that. But I'm pretty sure Idra is actually gonna. No, no Hive on the way for Idra yet. That's interesting. Does he have an infestation pit? Yes, he does. So let's see when he's gonna go for that Hive tech. Mutas still flying around, doing all sorts of damage all over the map, taking, sniping out what they can. Probably gonna go for this engineering bay as well. But gotta be careful as the Thor is coming closer. No. Yes, yep, there we go. The Thor is coming now. But the engineering bay has been taken out. Looks like DD is gonna want to expand over here take a fourth base Idra has taken this side expansion though <coughs> in the meantime excuse me and uh, weapons level three for vehicles on the way for the Terran player Wow my voice is getting tired actually uh, this this is the fourth game I've been casting I actually cast those uh, games with goody before these and then I saw these replays so looks like that refinery is gonna get taken out and the mutas are flying around trying to do as much damage as they can but five no yep five is no, six six Thors out right now and uh, well Let's take a look at what happened over here in the meantime while that attack was going on. And looks oh, it looks like a lot of drones died here. Let's see. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of drones going down. No? No, not really. Nope. So nothing really going on over here. Idra not losing any of his drones. And uh, Idra is looking really good right now. Taking a look at the army composition. He is almost maxed. Actually in the lead. Uh, f in the food count as well, so uh, Idra looking really, really good. Like, looks like a hive is on the way for Idra. It's almost done, and we're probably gonna see a greater spire after that. Yep, and um, Idra's just flying around right now, trying to keep map control as much as he can with these mutas, trying to keep the DD contained and on his toes so he can't really, uh, you know, play his game out as he'd want. When you have all these mutas flying around, you have to pretty much pay attention, it takes a lot of your focus. And here we go, sniping out quite a lot of SCVs, taking down that turret as well, and getting all the SCVs, uh, SCV kills that he can get. But uh, these stores are coming back right now. More roaches on this side, and let's see, is Idra going to go attack this one? That's a lot of Thors though, but just Thors, not many. Few Marines and Marauders, but that's pretty much it. Oh, that's a lot of tanks though there. Oh, gotta, oh, oh my god, that was, that was massacre. Yeah, so, uh, Baiting him into the siege tank line and a lot of aliens moving in here at the same time Let's see if the drones are gonna go down looks like oh oh, 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 oh Gotta be very careful with these drones it draw and there we go some drones going down. Oh these drones are really really stacked though Oh, That was so many drones getting fried over there even though the aliens have been taken out Let's take a look at the income tab, but this always lags which is so annoying uh, the uh, indicator over here for harvesters so um Actually, actually, yep, 56 drones. He, he did drone up again right after that to uh, to replenish his drone population. But that's a lot of, oh my god, how many? <laughs> 12 Thors, 5 Hellions, 6 Marauders, 7 tanks and 3 Marines, but he doesn't have the Marines he needs. I, I'm not, well, let's see if the magic box is going to really work here. Idra is going to need to magic box like crazy versus such a 
insane amount of Thors and wow, he's actually, he wants to transition into Ultra Disc. Obviously, he's getting Carapace level 3, Greater Spire almost done as well, but looks like a, a big attack is coming over here from the Terran. Idra is moving around with his Mutas. He's probably going to want to somehow engage these forces, but this is so many Thors and more turrets are being laid down over here. This is going to be crazy. I don't know how Idra is going to handle this. He also is getting some... Corruptors, let's see if those Broodlords are going to make it out in time, but this is so many Thors, I think he's just going to sack the space, he needs those Broodlords, there we go, he's probably, the Ultralisk Cavern is out as well, like I was saying, you want to transition uh, to Ultralisk from Broodlords, but, um, well, it uh, doesn't look like Surjax is, uh, I mean, DD is going to commit and uh, take down that base, looks like he's going to be going around, he did take down most of the drones here, though, there we go, the drones did go down, so doesn't really care that much about the base, I'm not exactly sure what he's doing. He doesn't seem to want to commit to anything. I think he waited a bit too long. Now the Broodlords are out. So, yep, six Broodlords are out. Let's see if Idra is going to go attack. Right now he's probably going to go attack this planetary fortress over here. That's still a lot of Thors, though. They have three weapon upgrades. No armor upgrades, though, but that's a lot of weapon upgrades. These units will do so much damage. And Idra is like, lol. <laughs> he sees all the Thors. <laughs> and looks like he's gonna go for it right now. Broodlord's on the left side. Muda's magic boxing over here, moving on top of the Thors. Zergling's underneath doing some damage as well. Broodlord's doing insane amount of damage though. And the Thor count, look at this, they're all getting so damaged. It's dwindling. The Mutas are holding as they are so spread. And great play over here from Idra. Broodlord's doing their job. And Muda's taking out everything because there was no, there were no Marines. And even Idra is surprised. How the hell did that happen? Indeed, because... This was, uh, well, I don't know, really, I, I think I think you shouldn't get too cocky as a Terran, even if you have that many that many Thors, even with level 3 upgrades, you need those Marines to take care, because a, a good player will always magic box his Mutas and move on top of your Thors, so if you don't really have anything to really deal with the Mutas, if they're a magic box like Marines do, then you're going to be in all sorts of trouble. So I, I think, uh, well, uh, a little bit, I think, I think DD waited a bit too long with this attack and uh, well that was the window over there uh, when those Broodlords were hatching. I think he could have done a lot of damage, maybe taken down all these tech structures. You can see the Ultralisk Cavern and the Greater Spire were both at the natural so I think he could have made a push over there and uh, deal a lot of damage or even just attack those Broodlords as they were as they were hatching. But anyways, good game, interesting game and um, quite action-packed game, not really boring at all so uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this by the way I'm sorry I couldn't get the previous four replays these were the only replays that were uploaded so game five and six from this clan war so team evil geniuses did win the series in the end four games to two so congratulations to them and the SC league all right guys that's it for me uh, I hope you've enjoyed this if you have then uh, please subscribe and come back to my channel and uh, I'll probably I mean I usually upload uh, content once a day or once a few two days or so tops and thanks to my subscribers thanks for watching those music videos thanks for subscribing after he having watched them uh, I'm really happy that people uh, like those videos I'm gonna be uploading more actually I've just checked I have passed the 800 subscriber mark so I will be making another one of those mu uh, music videos very soon so stay tuned for that okay guys uh, that's it for me for now signing out stay tuned for more videos